we doing a dorm tour today, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm from from Dallas, but I moved to Houston because I'm going to school in Houston. And when I tell you this city is fun, there ain't no lack of shit to do. But I'm finna go ahead and I feel like y'all love about my day, as I'm showing y'all my dorm. So, you know, y'all have something to look at or whatever. Over here, we have my side of the room. You know, it's my old jerseys. And my jersey phone, I tried out for FC Dallas. You know what I mean? And then we have my bed right here. It's all kind of long. I like the colors and shit. Then we have my slides, you know what I mean? My red forces and my basketball is under there. This is my little mini fridge. I don't really got anything in here right now. Uh, this is my Apple Watch charger is supposed to be up here. This is where I keep all the random accessories, accessories that I have. My iPod, my controller, a little drink, drink right there. My keys, thumbtacks, just in case I want to hang some more shit up. Some deodorant. I think that's my backup deodorant. Here's this nigga side of the room. Like, as y'all, as y'all can see, bro, we like, we kind of fall, but not like super fall, but we still kind of fall. Like, I can't really see him. He can't see me. We keep it that way. This nigga drum pad. You know, he's in the band. Oh, this nigga shit. I'm not gonna go through this nigga shit. Got a whole bunch of food for us up there. That's what's up. Bro really came in. Came in clutch. Got his little TV set up right here. The microwave. We got an air fryer under there. It's the, it's the, it's the stash and for me. It's the, it's the hide and shit for me. Bro. Got a whole bunch of waters and shit in here. I just took out the trash. I'm about to put a new one in. Then we have my guitar. This one is Whitney because the first song that I ever learned how to play on this hole was Feeling Whitney by, um, damn. I have a brain for it, though. By the nigga Post Malone. Post Malone go hard. This one has been with me through thick and thin, bro. I done broke all the strings. It's not tuned right. And then I don't have the amp. But I'm going to fix it up. That's exactly why I brought it here. Because I'm going to fix it up. Those, these stay under my bed. I try not to get this one on the floor. I'll put this one on top of the black one. We doing a dorm to today, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm from, from Dallas. But I moved to Houston because I'm going to school in Houston. And when I tell you this city is fun, there ain't no lack of shit to do. But I'm finna go ahead and I feel like y'all love about my day as I'm showing y'all my dorm. So, you know, y'all have something to look at or whatever. Over here, we have my side of the room. You know, it's my old jerseys. And my jersey phone, I tried out for FC Dallas. You know what I mean? And then we have my bed right here. It's all kind of long. I like the colors and shit. <laughs> no cap, bro. That's it for that little room tour. I will show y'all my closet and my wardrobe. But it's just, that's going to take a long ass time, you know. I'm trying to just, like, do this shit. Get this video out here. Because it's going to be my, like, first actual YouTube video and not one of them YouTube shorts videos. So, uh, let me tell y'all a little, little story or whatever. And this happened not too long ago. It was, so it was pretty recent, right? It was like six days ago, three, three, four days ago. I'm driving down here to Houston right when I get here. I'm driving down here, right? Everything's going on. I have to sit in this long ass line. And mind you, this line goes all the way across the corner to check in to TSU. This line goes all the way across like two blocks, right? I get to like down there the front of the line. I don't have let one person skip me, but that was on accident. But I let them do it. Like I saw them, I acknowledged them, but I thought they were trying to cross the street. I right, that's besides the point. I'm going, I'm almost there. And it's this one random lady that comes and cuts me off like almost damn near hits my car just to cut me off 
And I'm like scooting up closer to her shit, honking, honking, honking. I'm like, bro, get off the line, bro. No, you can't do that. I waited since down the fucking block. Nah, gangster, you gotta go somewhere else. You hear me? So, I, I, I'm mad. Like, I'm mad. Anger issues on a hundred, right? I need some counseling, but I'm mad. So, I, I just look. I look in the back of my car. I see a water bottle. I throw the water bottle at the back of this lady's car because she's not listening to me. She's not getting out when I hung. So I'm finna tell this. Whole, I, I throw the water bottle. She gets out of her car. I get out of my car because no, nah, fuck that. I had I had a girl that ride down with me. She gets out too. She's trying to de-escalate the situation. I'm just like already fucking pissed. Like there's no there's no going back with me now. I'm over here. I'm t I'm talking about like. I tell you, this lady was mad. She thought I hit the back of her car because I was getting pretty close, but I didn't hit her car. She thought I hit it. She talking about, there's a thing, there's a this, there's a that. I'm like, there ain't shit. You should have took your ass to the back of the line like the rest of us. Like, my ghetto came out and everything. Like, when I tell you, I don't even talk, like, real ghetto-ish. Like, I don't talk like, like I'm stupid or something, but I sounded retarded when I was talking. I was just like, nah, get your little bitch asses to the back of the line. And nobody want to hear that. This old-ass nigga got out. And he started talking to me like, okay, the rest of these are females, but it's like one nigga, he's like 40, 40, I say 49 ish, somewhere around there, late 40s, early 50s. He starts doing all this rah rah shit. And I'm like, bro, bro, I'm talking about all the females. I said, get the fuck back. They back up. I walk straight to this nigga. And I was like, yo, bitch ass ain't gonna do shit on my mama, nigga. What the fuck is, what's up? What's up, nigga? I was ready to fight. Like, I was already mad about the damn car situation. Now, this nigga over here talking some rah-rah shit. I didn't even understand what the rah-rah was. I just heard him talking. And my mind went straight into fight mode. Like, you know you have that, that fight, flight, or freeze? Like, them three motherfuckers? Nah, my mind went straight into fight. I'm like, bro, I'm down for anything, bro. This The girl that I brought with me is holding me back. Like, no, no, no. I'm like... Bro, like, this nigga is right here. He's like, yeah, all I hear is talking, young nigga. All I hear is talking. When you're the one steady backing up away from me, that's the shit I don't get. That shit I don't be understanding, dog. I just don't get it. Like, how you going back away from me saying, saying that I'm scared of woo-woo-woo-woo-woo this, woo-woo that? And you backing up. Why you backing up? Why you going to take your ass with him? Because I was getting ready to roundhouse the fuck out that nigga. I'm telling you, I don't fist fight. I use my legs. I kick your ass. My mama. I, I'm the definition of I kick your ass. Ah, yeah, that day was crazy. I went in there mad and everything. They told me I had to get a COVID thing, a COVID test, which that was kind of my fault because I should have read the goddamn thing before I came down there. So I had to go. I was already mad getting up to COVID test and stuff. By the time all that was done, I was chilling out. I moved into my room. Everything was pretty Gucci after that. But, hey, that's how... That's how getting here was, bro. She, she be crazy. She be wildin'.